Hey, what's up, interwebs? I'm still here doing these. Yes, um, that basically, if you didn't watch the update video I put out a couple weeks ago, um, my camera's been having a bunch of issues. Just like right there, when my hand went out to fix the toy, it started lagging a little bit. But I have lowered the resolution to 720p, cleared up 10 gigs of space on my phone, and lowered the FPS to 30 instead of 60 to try and see if that fixes it. I don't want to factory reset my phone just yet because I know that'll fix the issue, but I just, I never like factory resetting my phones. I've had to do it a bunch of times. I had a phone that did it on its own every day. That was, that wasn't fun. Um, but yeah, so hopefully this works. Uh, this will be a little bit more jump cutty than normal because I will be cutting, like stopping footage and then starting again just so the camera doesn't conk out. So yeah, now that that's out of the way, the kibble fix, the figure I'm fixing today is this, the Revenge of the Fallen slash Dark of the Moon Leader Class Optimus Prime. Now this fix works on any version of this mold. I don't know if it does for the knockoffs because I've never handled one of the knockoffs. Because I know there's like a knockoff with no knees or something like that so they have some differences. But yeah, as you can see I've already fixed one side of it. I've fixed, I took this panel off, I removed the gas can. Um, this little stem piece from the back, and I remove this. Now this is a pain in the ass. <coughs> excuse me. Also, you're gonna have to excuse me. any coughs. I'm still getting over the flu, but this thing is a pain in the ass. So this is probably the hardest kibble fix that I'll ever I have ever done on this on this channel. So. You have to be comfortable with knocking out pins, specifically really long pins. You have to be comfortable with undoing screws and exposing circuitry. Because you will expose, very briefly, you will expose the soundboard. So, yeah, so also because of that, make sure that you're not conducting static electricity. Just because static electricity can ruin uh, circuit boards. And if you like the voice chip, touch an unpainted metal surface before you start the fix of this thing because you don't want to conduct static electricity. So the tools you will need for this, there are a lot. You'll need the pliers, there goes my lamp. You're going to need a pin remover of sorts. I'm going to be using both of these as I normally do, screwdriver and automatic center punch. Something to hammer, I use wire cutters because of the flat surface and the fact that they're small. And you'll need a couple different sizes of Phillips head screwdrivers. So, yeah. So let's get started. So to start off, the first thing we're going to do is remove the battery pack. So turn the figure around. Get rid of all this junk here. Just get that up out of the way. You're going to remove the battery pack. Now, interesting thing about my particular battery pack, I put batteries in this when I first got it and then never touched it again. Then I opened the battery pack and it smelled like it had this horrific body odor smell. Like, you know, when you go to the gym and you change room, that, that smell came out of the battery pack. So I, I don't know if that's like that with everyone's, but it was kind of gross. So let's just remove the battery pack here. And obviously if you have batteries in it, take them out. I already, I already took them out. So, the next thing that you're going to want to do is let's remove the uh, smokestack thing here. So, you're basically just going to want to undo that screw and that screw right there. So, let's just undo that and my Discord just exploded on my computer for some reason. Should I do one of those? Should I start a Discord for this so you guys can like chat amongst yourselves about different fixes you've done or questions you have for each other or something. I don't know. I, I don't have that big enough of a following just yet. But should I do that once I have one? I don't know. Let me know if you think that that's a good idea. Also, this is being... There we go. So you want to remove that. Take this out. Son of mushroom peg. Close it back together. And then screw it back in place. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, getting the flu for two weeks is not fun. Also, make sure you do not lose the pins or the screws. Because a couple people have asked for a berserker kibble fix. 
That's done. I filmed that. Um, I have to redo some of it, but I have to wait because let me just get the screw back in. Here's Berserker. You gotta take the pin out for this thing. I lost the pin. I need to reshoot this particular spot because I messed up with uh, something I said, so I gotta fix it. But I it's I've lost the pin. So I gotta find the pin first before I finish that. So don't lose your pins. Anyways, now we got the gas tank out. So this this extra piece won't be hanging off the end. So next, we're gonna remove the difficult bit, this thing. So, to do this, you're gonna wanna undo a screw from there, right there, the little hole, and out of focus, and that screw right there. I've already done so, they are sitting here, because in order to get this out, you gotta do it on an angle, and you, you risk stripping the screw, so you have to be very slow and very careful with it. It takes a long time, obviously with my camera issues. I don't want to sit here for that long undoing those two screws, so just take those out. Then, you want to get this figure into a specific configuration. It's not very specific, it's basically just pull out the ab pieces here, just pull them out, pull out the arms, just out of the, this arm, out of the way, and you want to undo that screw in there, which again I've already done because it's a pain in the butt, and this screw right here. So, we'll just take this out, like so. There are other screws you can remove as well to make this portion a lot easier, but you gotta knock this pin out, which is difficult. You gotta knock this pin out. You gotta be able to get this thing out of the way. It's a hassle. But yeah, once you've got that done, now you wanna do the difficult bit that involves the circuit board. So flip your toy over, and then unhinge it, ah, just like that, to expose this area. Now take it and split it. See how it's splitting there? You want to make sure it splits like that, so that you can easily take this panel off. I say easily, but it's not very easy. So you want to remove remove that, right? just get that there you go now we've separated these two pieces right here and you want to remove that second screw right there again pain in the butt I know but this one is a little easier because it's not as stripped as that one so I can just sit here and do this because the machines they use to put the screws in at the uh, actual job sites the factories they um, they screw it in until the machine starts clicking because I've seen how they make uh, certain toys before. And when the machine stops clicking, or starts clicking, that usually means that the screw's in. But that also starts stripping the screw. So that's why your screws are mostly stripped all the time on toys. But anyways, you want to take this panel off, remove this section right here, it's just a mushroom peg, and then replace this back on, find that screw, Put it back in, well, put it back on the screwdriver first. That probably helped. Just get it on there. Don't screw it in on an angle like an idiot, like I'm doing. Because then you'll break your toy. This is where that, like, DeWalt heavy tool thing comes, into ha comes in handy. That, um, I think it's DeWalt. That screwdriver thing with, like, that extra ratchet joint that allows it to move. I want to get one of those just for the sake of this, but they're expensive in Canada. Anyways, once you get the screw back in here, I just want to show you what I was talking about with the circuit board. There it is, right there. You are exposing it a little bit, and if you have static electricity and you touch it, you learn this in um, engineering courses and in computer science courses when you're building computers. Uh, if you touch RAM or your motherboard, with static electricity, you will fry them. So you gotta be careful. But now, let's reattach this. So I'm just gonna raise the camera up here. This little piece, split, plug it in. There you go. Push that back down. 
put the screw back in the side here just like so now we're going to replace the battery pack back on there if I can get the actual screwdriver into the screw And then let's just fold this back around, make sure you can see what I'm doing. Now you have a much cleaner backpack. Now I know these are movie accurate to going around the uh, gas cans like this, but they're never that big and all that. Movie Masterpiece does it a lot better. Again, still haven't found Movie Masterpiece figure yet, even though someone recommended where I could find one. I still can't get one. They're even sold out on Ages 3 and Up's website, and I went to go purchase one from there. I did purchase Barricade, so Barricade is on its way whenever Ages 3 and Up gets him. But now, let's just reconfigure this whole thing. Now, this flap will not tab in anymore because these were what held it in place, but don't play with this thing. Especially not this version. You don't want to play with this version. This is the um, Takara Tomy Striker Optimus Prime, the... Um, quote unquote movie masterpiece version. It wasn't called movie masterpiece, but it was in the old school movie masterpiece style boxes. So I consider it a movie masterpiece figure. Also I can't get this in. What the hell? There we go. So now he looks loads better. And without all that stuff hanging off his back. Now we're gonna remove this. This is the second most difficult part. So, just get the arm up and straight. You want to undo those three screws right there. So, let's just do that quickly. Also, question if anyone has Titans Return Slug Slinger, do your hands fall off? Not yours, like the, the, obviously, the figure's hands just fall off. Because when as soon as I opened mine, it, the hands just fell right off. They, they both fell off. I've, I've managed to fix them slightly, but they still pop off a lot. So I don't know if that's a major issue with Slug Slinger. I never watched any reviews. I just He's misfire with a couple extra pieces. So I just wanted to get him to complete the trio. And now I've completed the trio and somehow lost Trigger Happy's head. So yeah, but yeah, his hands fall off constantly. So I don't know if that's like a, a problem with just mine or a problem with all of them. I bought him at a at a, uh, a Gundam store down in Toronto when I went for my birthday, like a couple weeks ago. So yeah. Anyways, all of the screws are now removed. Now this is also good to show you guys if you bought those extra like fists and things and don't know how to properly install them. There you go. Fist. You just want to remove the entire arm. Now we'll get the figure out of the way. Also. Because I just did it and it's bad. If you have the Takara Tomy Striker Optimus or the movie Masterpiece, don't drag it by the feet. Because look at all that chromeware. Look at all that nice, wonderful chromeware that happens when you drag this thing. So don't do what I just did and drag it. But let's just pan the camera down here and make sure the exposure is right. Here is the piece. You want to remove this giant ass pin out of it. Now I believe it goes in this way, so you want to pop it out from, yeah, you want to pop it out from here. So get your uh, pin removing tool of your choice. Get out of the back of shot. What I find is much easier if you fold this up, get the other piece and just sort of like plunk it on, plunk it on, plug it on there, there we go. And just push Make sure you can line it up first. Then get your uh, hammering tool of choice. Uh, drop it as well. God, I'm hungry, and when I get hungry, I start shaking. So if I'm shaking slightly, it's just because I'm hungry. You know what? To make this easier on myself...
Just gonna screw that back in there. Just to make things a little easier. I don't have to go in all the way. Put that right there. If you don't like loud noises, sorry. I missed. Give me a minute. I I did it. I got this in. So you just want to get this in there and then hammer it out. Also, I do highly recommend you guys buy an old Tech Deck set because these screwdrivers are usually the same size as regular pinholes. So go pick up one. But now here you go. There is the pin sticking out. Okay, get your pliers. There's a piece stuck to it. And just remove it. There you go, this panel has now been removed. Get out of here. So let's just undo this. Make sure you don't lose the screws. There they are. Bring big old Optimus Prime back in here. And just reattach the arm. Make sure you don't forget the hand because I did that when I was first doing this and it just makes life tedious. Back together and now you can start reattaching the screws. In actuality this fix doesn't seem like it's very hard but in practice getting those stupid long pins out is so annoying. Especially when I'm sitting there trying to figure out how to do it. I accidentally chewed up one of the pins with my pliers because I decided to pull on them through the inside here with the pliers. Don't do that. It ruins the pin and then makes it more difficult to slide those pieces up and down. So, yeah, don't don't try that. Also, if you have the swords, if you have the version of this figure with the swords, I don't because I didn't want to get those stupid swords. Um, I mean the swords and the arms. Once you undo the arm here, you can easily see the mechanism inside. I think Op the Bottom has showed you how to remove them a long time ago. I think. I'm not 100% sure. But you can easily just take them out like that. The spring is attached to the blade, and the button is just a simple little button with a spring attached to it. If you take a picture of the mechanism on the inside when you take before you take it apart, you'll be able to figure out how it goes back together if you ever want to put it back together. But to remove the swords, you also have to undo these three screws, pull that panel off, and then you get access to the the area on the inside with the swords. So let's just screw this back on. Now I'm going to transform this off camera because this is still, I believe, transformable. I actually haven't tried it because I haven't taken everything off yet. So I'm going to try transforming this thing off camera because if I do it on camera, you guys know how difficult this thing is. But there you have a fully fixed Optimus Prime and he looks so much clean you can fold these panels down perfectly you can make the arms straight if you want without those panels getting in the way it just looks so much better now that all that junk's taken off especially the bits that used to stick out back here these um, these pieces and when you turn it around it just looks so much nicer I really like how this looks without the kibble on it but now I'm gonna transform it and see if I can get it transformed so I'll be right back Guess what? <clears throat> I'm back, and it transforms. Here he is in his truck mode, all transformed up with all the kibble removed. As you can see, these bits just stick out a little bit. These bits sort of dangle down here. You have to make them dangle down because they'd plug into this bit normally. But these pieces just tab in back here and here on top of the wheels. These just peg into the sides there. This is a little bit finagly, a little bit difficult to do. But if you have the Revenge of the Fallen version, very easy. If you have the Dark of the Moon version, not so much because they carved that little piece of his chest out. Because remember in Revenge of the Fallen, his chest gets blown up. And so they had to replicate that. Well, they fixed it in Dark of the Moon by showing the fact that his chest got blown up, but it sort of got repaired. So they did that with this toy, but those, those pieces that were blown up were crucial to the transformation. So that just makes it a little bit harder to do this. But yeah, fully... Oh, 
That's not pegged. I did something wrong. But fully transformable. There you go. Fully transformable uh, with all that kibble removed. So that is how you do a kibble fix for the leader class, the superior leader class, Optimus Prime. I would do first movie one, but there's just so much garbage on that thing. Uh, so that's not happening. But yeah, again, request whatever you want. I'll try and get to them. Again, there's Patreon to help with this. Because toys cost money. Uh, also, here's here's the slug slinger hand thing I was talking about. They just come off. So if anyone else has this problem, please let me know, because then I'll then I'll know and I can show you guys how to fix it. If it's just me, then don't worry about it. Um, what else do I have to say? Uh, next video might be a review of an old of a, a last night toy. I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, keep hydrated, I guess. I don't know. Anyway. Cable fix is done. Bye.